So let's take a look at subsegments, which allows us to get more granular timing information or details about downstream calls that your app makes. So these are basically operations within your app that you want to capture. So a subsegment can contain uh, calls to AWS services, external HTTP APIs, or SQL, uh, SQL calls within a database, uh, and also things within DynamoDB. And that's actually the example we're going to look at is DynamoDB. So here uh, what we have is we have an Elastic Beanstalk environment, and there's a put request going to it. And then underneath in that application, it's making calls to DynamoDB. So we can see uh, get item, update item, etc. And so th those are the subsegments. Now uh, you can actually define your own arbitrary subsegments to instrument specific functions or lines of code, and that's what I'm going to show you in the next step. But a lot of these things, uh, you know, if you're using specific AWS services, they might already log these subsegments for you. But you know, if you need something more specific, you can write your own. So here uh, we have um, a trace, and within this trace we have a segment, and then there's a subsegment. Can you tell where the custom subsegment is? It's right there. So that's the one um, I defined, uh, and I want to show you how you would do that in code. So here is the actual code example, and the first thing you're going to want to do is include the SDK. So there's the X-ray SDK core. I'm writing this obviously in Node.js, uh, and it's very similar to when we defined a segment earlier on. Uh, but in this case, we first have to get the current segment, and then we're going to add a new subsegment. So I call this mining, and then you have some code that runs, and then you have a, you close the subsegment. So everything uh, in between the start and end will be captured, uh, and that's going to go to that segment there. I'm just doing a console log, so it's 0.0, .0 milliseconds. Nothing super exciting there. Um, you generally don't define. Like you don't create segments in code. I mean, in the earlier example we saw it because that was the Express.js application, but generally the only thing you're defining in code uh, for instrumentation is subsegments. But you know, that's just this is just an example to show you how to set up sub subsegments.